But first, we turn to the ongoing Israel-Hamas war, where tonight Israeli forces say they've expanded ground operations to every part of Gaza. The prime minister vowing to move south, the very place many civilians fled to. News Nation's Alina Shirazi has the new developments from D.C. tonight. Alina. Natasha, Israel is ordering more evacuations into southern Gaza as they vow that their fight against Hamas will continue to be as fierce as ever. The war rained on for a third day after the end of a temporary ceasefire. The Israeli military now shifting their focus to southern Gaza, saying today that their ground offensive is expanding to every part of the Strip with authorities ordering more evacuations in the crowded south. The Israeli military publishing this evacuation zone map, cutting up the Gaza Strip into numbered parcels, asking people to become familiar with their zone ahead of evacuation orders. The blitz already starting as Palestinians in Gaza say they're running out of places to go as their homes turn to ash. The United States asking Israel to take extra care to prevent civilian casualties. Now, I don't know of too many modern militaries uh, that actually take that extra step. So uh, they clearly are trying to make an effort to be more precise and more cautious here. And that's, of course, something we've been urging them to do li literally uh, from the beginning of the conflict. <laughs> Israel's prime minister last night not mincing words, comparing Hamas to the devil, saying that the Palestinian Authority, quote, pays murderers to hate Israel and murder Jews, vowing to continue the war until Israel reaches its goal. Echoing that thought, National Security Council coordinator John Kirby addressing concerns with the Palestinian Authority. One of the things that Secretary Blinken uh, was talking to uh, our Israeli counterparts uh, about when he was there was the need to reform the Palestinian Authority, a revitalized Palestinian Authority that is much more, uh, much more able to meet the aspirations and the needs uh, of the Palestinian people. We agree uh, that that's not the case right now. Natasha, as fighting rages on in its third day, we know that at least 137 hostages remain in Gaza in Hamas's captivity. Natasha. All right, Alina Shirazi, live for us in Washington tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.